good morning friends i welcome you to my youtube channel education information for all i request you to subscribe my channel share and like today we see thomas model one of the most generally and widely used kinetic model in the column performance theory is the thomas model the hypothesis or assumption of thomas or reaction model is based on the postulation that the sorption process follows langmuir kinetic of adsorption desorption this model presumes that no axial dispersion is present for sorbate and sorbent interactions the rate of column dynamics obeys second order reversible reaction kinetics thomas model also assumes that the constant separation factor is applicable to either favorable or unfavorable isotherm the adsorption rate constant for a continuous adsorption process in column and the maximum solid phase concentration of the solute on the sorbent are developed by the expression of thomas ct by c not equal to 1 divided by 1 plus exponential in bracket you write kth in bracket q not m minus c not v divided by q if you rearrange this equation ln c not by t minus 1 equal to kth in bracket q not m divided by q minus c not t here ct the unit is milligram per liter we can say is the effluent concentration c not is the influent concentration the unit is milligram per liter kth is the thomas rate constant or kinetic constant the unit is ml per minute milligram q not is the equilibrium adsorbate uptake or you can say the equilibrium uptake per gram of the adsorbate the unit will be milligram per gram here m is the unit will be gram the amount of adsorbent in the column q the unit is ml per minute it is the flow rate and t we can write v by q here v is in ml the effluent value the kth and q not can be determined from a plot of ln c not minus ct minus 1 versus time we can see here the equation ln c not by ct minus 1 equal to minus kth c not plus kth q not m divided by q you can take y equal to mx plus c here uh, at t will be x axis and ln c not by ct minus 1 is y axis and uh, c is the intercept and mx is the slope here slope will be minus kth c not and kth uh, kth will be minus slope divided by c not so intercept will be kth q into m by q and q will be intercept into q divided by kth into m when the flow rate increased the heavy metal removal efficiency decreased this was attributed to the fact that short contact time between solute adsorbate and adsorbent would reduce the adsorption efficiency the kth increased with the increase in flow rate due to faster mass transfer at higher flow rate thank you